So this is the tank. It is a Pro Clear Aquatic Systems Pro Star 90 version two rimless. It is low iron glass. The company Pro Clear Aquatic Systems is local here to the Jacksonville, Florida area. I've seen these tanks so far, um, of course, in a lot of the local fish stores around here, as well as saltwateraquarium.com and fish tanks direct. The tank is 36 by 20 by 22. Display volume is 63 gallons. The sump is about 13 gallons. So total system volume is around 76. Of course, not accounting for um, displacement of the rocks. The tank has an in-tank overflow system. We have one drain and one return. We have a nice little lid to help um, quiet down the drain. And then also on top of the drain pipe itself, there is another silencer. So really happy with um, how quiet the tank runs. You can barely hear it here in the living room. And then as I said, we have one return here. Uh, the stand comes in either black or white, and it is a high gloss stand. If you're comparing it to like a Red Sea Reefer or a water box system, those are gonna have more of a matte finish. And again, this has a high gloss finish, which with a couple of toddlers, there's certainly a lot of fingerprints and things that I have to wipe down, but overall it looks really nice. You'll notice as well, there's a pretty thick brace here um, at the bottom of the tank. Um, one of the reasons they do this is to hide the plumbing. And so you'll have your return and your um, drain connections about here, and then this bracing hides it. And really where that comes into play is moving the tank, whether it's from the store or from a house to a house or a different location, you're able to lay this tank down flat in the back of your vehicle, as opposed to say a Red Sea, for example, where the plumbing will stick out below this. And then when you're placing it, you of course have to like put it on the edge of a seat or something so that the pipes can stick down. Um, whereas with this system, the Pro Star, um, the pipes only come to here and you can lay it flat. So that's one of the reasons it has a, a bit of a thicker bracing here. So getting below the tank, as I had said, it comes with um, a sump. The sump's pretty nice and it also has these little tabs that holds it in place. So really nice design. You have schedule 80 piping with a ball valve on your drain. I prefer the gate valve, but this ball valve being a you know schedule 80, it'll last a long time. So that's just fine. Um, very plug and play. The pipes are already all glued together. You just have to join them at the union. So super easy to get it set up and running. You have these foam splash guards um, as well that help just further silence the tank. So there's a high emphasis on these systems on keeping them quiet, which is nice. Um, so the water drains down here, comes into the filter sock area, comes with two filter socks. I'll eventually replace them with the cups and do filter floss, um, but just set the system up. So running these socks for now. The water then goes into this chamber here where you can put some equipment. It is smaller. Um, I have a, my heaters and my skimmer there, and that's about all that's going to fit, but that works for this system just fine. And then it goes down into your return. Um, as you can see, they include a, an auto top off here that has a float valve down in your return chamber. So that's a really nice um, feature as well. On the other side, you have a, um, plenty of space for equipment. Um, you know, for the tank of this size, I don't need a lot. I have a dosing container, a trident, um, you know, all of my equipment over here, uh, my electric. The tank also, or the stand comes with a built-in electric strip. Um, so there's one cord that I have plugged in behind the tank that comes up to that strip that I'm not using now. And that's simply because I have my Apex set up. Um, so not a ton of space, um, but certainly enough space for, um, you know, what I need in this system. Overall, um, super happy with the system. Um, what I've seen so far is that it's compared a lot to the Red Sea Reefers and the water box systems. This tank's gonna come in a little bit cheaper than both of those setups. Um, not drastically cheaper, but it is gonna be, um, again, less than those systems. And I could not be happier with the system so far. Um, and if you have any questions, let me know, but I'll keep you updated and release a couple more videos as the tank progresses. So far, so good.